Hello everyone, welcome to Renault Talks IP. I'm Renaud Lavoie with Redal Communication. Audio in 2110 is as important as video. So let's, I dedicated this Renault Talks IP on the audio. But a question I received, how many audio flows make sense in what the audio source and destination should do with them? So that's an interesting question. You can say it's trivial, but no, it's not trivial. And let me explain you why. So first of all, in a HD or 3G signal, you have up to 16 mono channel. So then you can say, okay, I will create 16 flows. But the problem that happen when you do dash seven. So those flows are double. So you're looking at 32 audio channel. And if you scale your system, just thinking about a big system we face sometime, it's about 500, 1,000 senders, 1,000 times 32. So you're looking at 32,000 flows for audio in your network. It's starting to really scale up the number. And, and, and of course, you have all other processing, you have all other video, um, video multicast and, uh, and also ancillary. So the number goes really high. So what's the good number? In, in, in MediaNet IP, we started with eight flows, eight multicast or unicast. But then, redundancy coming, it's become 16. And as you know, we can put like, we can put 48 new one in a switch. So you can see the number adding there, 48 times 32. And in 2015, when we did that, it was really hard for a control system to cope with that. So we said, okay, let's go back to a basic. Let's do four flows. But in the four flows, let's, the, let's give the ability to the customer to put 16 monochannel. Just one thing though, I will explain you how this is possible and with packet time will not work in 16. But let's keep that for, for a few minutes. So, so we did those four flows and the customer told us in your encapsulator, you shouldn't be able to shuffle them, which we did. And they said on the receiver side, you should be able to select which one you want. Meaning that I send you four multicasts with audios. Each one of them can have two, one, let's say 16. And then your receiver will cherry pick from those four flows. They can come from different sources. They can come from different senders. And there's no problem there. You're in 2110. Everything is, is time-based with the, with the PTP. So, Interestingly enough, when you do that, you can shuffle at the receiver and then you remove the embedder and the embedder from the old time. So, wow, now I can have a shuffling device inside the network, which we do, or we take our destination and the receiver will be able to shuffle them. One interesting thing we had, because we had an application with a customer and they say, can you double my mono channel? Can you send two of them? Same same thing. And we ask ourselves, why? Because some receiver in 2110 do not support only one mono. They need to have this stereo channel. So then we create, we double the mono and these equipment start working. And you think it's trivial, but if or the encapsulator did not do it for this customer, it's really complicated to do. So it's simple things like that. We learned from 2015 doing audio. And like I said, at destination, we are able to shuffle or to cherry pick the audio you want on four different multicast. So now let's talk about packet time. As you know, audio has packet time. So in, um, in 2110, they are defined as the following. Zero means one millisecond. One is 125 microsecond, 250, 333, and 500 microseconds. So now, interestingly, the 2110-10 also specify that the packet should be a UD UDP, sorry, datagram size limited to, remember my, I, my MTU, 1,500 bytes. To be more precise, 1,460 bytes of data. So now, let's take a one millisecond. And you can see the equation on my left side. This is really interesting. So my packet size of my, uh, of my packet is 1,460 bytes. You have the number, the size, the bit per sample, you have the sampling rate, let's say 48 kilohertz, and you have the packet time. As you can see with this equation, if I'm running at one milliseconds of packet time, I can only put 10 channel in my flow. So then my 16 will not work 
for uh, one millisecond. And this is some limitation you have to be aware of. The other interesting thing is it could be worse if I do 2110-31 because I can have 32 bits per sample. So you can redo this equation if you like and find what's the number of channel you can do. I hope this was useful. Really, the shuffling, um, the, the, the calculation to know how many, how many channel you can put in a multicast or in a flow. And like I said, audio is as important as video. So we'll try to do more audio uh, presentation in Renault Talks IP. Thank you very much for watching. And for more information, please don't hesitate and go to see readall.net. We have more Renault Talks IP and more to come. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.